So in this video, I want to compare two of my favorite growth ETFs, IGV in blue and WCLD in yellow. One is a broad, it's kind of like an index of US software companies. And the other WCLD is very similar, but it's more specific on cloud computing. There's less holdings, it's more concentrated, but generally you're looking at the past year price performance, and we can see that they tend to move up together and down together, although WCLD is more volatile. So when it goes up, it goes up more, and when it comes crashing down, it comes crashing down harder. Let's come over here to ETF comparison. This is a great tool for finding overlap and just to see how similar or different ETFs are. So of course, IGV, WCLD, and we can see that they have 40 holdings in similar, and 37% of IGV's 122 holdings are in WCLD, and 69% of WCLD's 58 holdings are within IGV. So that makes sense. IGV is the larger ETF, so more of WCLD is within it. Overall, there is an overlap of 25% of these ETFs, and then lastly, if we come down here, this is a great little snapshot of what's going on. So this is IGV's overweight relative to WCLD with these companies, and then the inverse over here. So you can pause it and look at this if you want. It's some pretty good insight. This is the fact sheet for IGV. And if I read it, it says the iShares expanded tech software ETF seeks to track the investment results of an index composed of North American equities in the software industry and select North American equities from interactive home entertainment and interactive media and services industries. And then this says why own IGV. So it kind of summarizes it. One, exposure to broad range of software companies. Two is targeted access to North American software companies, which by the way, they tend to be global operating companies like Microsoft, Salesforce, Adobe, but they're just US based. And then lastly, it says IGV is good to be used to express a regional sector view. And that's kind of it. Uh, there's not much going on with this ETF. It's kind of more of an index of US software companies. It's pretty broad. The expense ratio is 0 0.46. With WCLD, I think it's 0 0.45, so kind of the same. And the last thing to look at is the top sectors. So we can see 62.7% is software applications, and then 28.42% is system software, and the rest is kind of negligible. WCLD is a bit more interesting because it's more uh, specialized of an ETF, similar to IGV, just more concentrated. So it says, what is cloud computing? The cloud refers to the aggregation of information online that can be accessed from anywhere on any device. Cloud companies provide an on-demand service to a centralized pool of information technology resources via a network connection. And then it says the three major categories of cloud industry are software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. And they give examples over here, so Gmail, Google App Engine, and AWS. That goes on to explain the product advantages of cloud computing. So it says speed, ease, and low cost of implementation, efficient software updates, and easily scalable. And when it comes to the business model advantages of cloud computing, high recurring revenue, because most software as services are a subscription-based revenue model, high client retention with long revenue periods, because once you sign up, you tend to stay signed up for quite a while, and then low expenses because it's all stored on the cloud. And if a client wants more or less access, they just change the packages that they buy on a subscription monthly basis. This is the index methodology. Uh, if you guys want to read this, pause it, look at it now. I'll also leave this link down below. And then I believe the last thing I wanted to show you guys was, here we go. So this is the market cap weighting of this ETF. So we can see it's split pretty evenly between large and mid cap cloud computing companies with a little bit of small cap exposure. And here's an example of how it's set up. Now coming back to this page to compare their price performance, we can see that because they have such a strong overlap, in fact, it's an overlap of 25% to be specific, they tend to move up and down together. If we zoom out to the five year, WCLD has only been around since September of 2019, so it's not that old, but we can compare IGV versus some generic growth ETFs like VUG. So VUG is a lot of the large cap growth companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, MasterCard, NVIDIA, 
all that. So that's this light green line. And we can see that having the focus on tech software companies in this dark blue line, IGV, it has over the past five years outperformed the general large cap growth companies. So that's why I like software as a growth field. It's also pretty broad, right? It's not like robotics or clean energy. Lots of companies these days are software companies. It's a very broad umbrella term. And it's just a field that's done very well, better than the large cap growth companies. And if we zoom back into the one year so we can bring WCLD back into the conversation. We can see that as of lately, WCLD is actually performing the best, although not by much. And just generally looking at the past year, we can see that they tend to move pretty similar, although WCLD being more concentrated with a focus more on cloud computing specifically with a selection methodology that's a bit more intense. We can see that it does have higher highs, lower lows, but as mentioned, as of now, it is performing the best. So to me, it's pretty clear. If you're looking for an index for growth, I think software is a great index to look at because it's broad, it's diversified, and it's been doing better than the large cap growth companies. IGV is very well diversified and it's been performing very nicely. And then if you want to take it one step further and have a more concentrated ETF, I think WCLD is the way to go because it's very similar, but because it's more concentrated, it does have larger price moves. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. I'm